Hello folks, my name is Leo, Mac of my nose world. So today I will talk about a movie I watched yesterday. It's called Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Okay, so uh, I will give a synopsis here and give you my opinion about that movie. Okay, so, uh, but before I do that, so, you know, right? You know, you need to do this. Subscribe here, give a like, Comment here and share this video with your friends and that and have fun. Okay, let's talk about Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. So it's a story. So uh, Furiosa is one of the characters uh, will be here in, in in this movie here. Uh, so maybe you remember this character here, Furiosa. Okay, so Charlie's their own. She played this character in one of the, the the previous movie called Mad Max, okay, Fury Road. Uh, so she, she appears there, okay. So here in this movie here, we have only Furiosa story, okay. Uh, it's a kind of a original story from uh, Furiosa, okay. So uh, and. Uh, I think this movie is is a good example that uh, if you want to expand the universe, that in this case Mad Max, right? Uh, you can uh, tell the story about uh, each character, right? So uh, because we we had uh, we had the Mad Max uh, with Mel Gibson, right? So uh, and. Uh, uh, and this movie is connected to the Mad Max before. Uh, no, okay. So uh, before I mean like the the three first movie. Okay, so uh, Mad Max one, two, and three. The Fury Road is like a, a sequel, and uh, right. But here they talk about the original story of Furious. Okay, so so. The original story is really interesting here, so it's really interesting. At the same time, uh, sometimes uh, takes too long. They they try to explain too much. Okay, so uh, I don't think they uh, they need to do that, right? So it's just the uh, uh, one bad things for me, right? So I think they. Uh, they want to, the explanation is good, but at the same time, it's too much, right? So it's just put some points you want to explain, right? Because they explain her uh, background, right? So like uh, uh, since she, she was a uh, 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 children uh, or maybe teenager, right? And uh, because uh, here they explain that, so uh, she lost her mother, right? So. Uh, and uh, one of the guys who is responsible for for killing her mother is this guy here. Is the name of the character is Dementos? Okay, so uh, Dementos is played by uh, Chris Hemsworth. So if you if you can't recognize him, is this is Chris Hemsworth? Okay, uh, if you don't know Chris Hemsworth, maybe you know him in Thor, right? Thor uh, in Marvel movies, right? So, uh, and uh, he do, does this character called Dementus. Dementus is a guy who is, uh, how can I explain that? Uh, he is a leader of the, all the bad guys, let's say like that, right? So, and, uh, and, it, and he found her, he found, uh, uh, Furiosa, right? But uh, they don't mention here in this movie the the name of her, and they just call her uh, Ma, uh, that, that's the woman or uh, the girl, right? So, and uh, they this Furiosa is played by uh, by Anya Taylor Joy. Okay, so maybe you know her in the the Queen of Gambit, right? So from Netflix. Okay, so really good ones. Okay, so by the way, uh, good recommendation for you guys. And uh, and she plays this character here, so uh, she's amazing. She's a good actress here. And uh, also, 
uh, we have a uh, immortal duo, so also appears in Fury Road, right? So before uh, I said that, right? So in this move here, okay. And the uh, immortal duo here. So uh, some people will ask me like, uh, but Leo, uh, immortal duo uh, was the villain uh, of the was the boss of the Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, he, he is a villain here, not not the villain, or maybe a secondary villain, like say that, because uh, he just appears like three times in the movie, the, the, the whole movie, okay? On the whole movie, yeah, in the whole movie, he appears only three times. So, uh, and uh, he has a, a, a short appearance, let's say, uh, let's let put it this way. And... Uh, and uh, they focus on more the story about Furiosa, right? So, uh, Furiosa, and also the mentors, their relationship, right? So uh, not not relationship, like uh, their friendship, <laughs> in quote. Okay, so and this movie is also directed by George Miller. Okay, so uh, everybody knows that George Miller start all these franchise of Mad Max, right? So. And he's really famous in pop culture in the world, right? So everybody talk about this movie. And uh, each each year we want more about Mad Max, right? So uh, that's the things here. So Furiosa, they have a good origin story here, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> but I want to talk about the Dementos again, right? Because I, I just mentioned his name here. I never see. Uh, I I'm so surprised about this character here because uh, Chris Hemsworth guy, guys. Uh, any any role he plays, <laughs> uh, he he does great. Okay, so uh, uh, in this character here is like a awesome, right? So uh, and uh, there are some. Uh, some uh, scenes here. The actual scenes is great here. Okay, so uh, the actual scenes is really perfect here. So uh, I think that's the the main stronger, the main strong strong point here is about the actual scenes, right? So and the uh, and the uh, and the consequence of the the actual scene. And uh, the Mentos is a good villain here, so he's the primary villain, okay? And uh, and uh, how he played this guy here is really interesting. That because uh, looks like uh, Jack Sparrow <laughs> in the the Pirates of the Caribbean, all right? So uh, and uh, I think he is like a wow. <laughs> so and uh, his act, uh, his accent. Is an Australian accent, right? So sometimes when you, when you hear his voice, it's like, a, why he's talking like that? Because in Thor, it's like, a, yeah, I'm Thor, right? So, but, but here he says, like, a, oh yeah, my name is Dementus, right? So something like that, right? And uh, it's really interesting that his acting is so. Crazy man, crazy. Mm -hmm. I I like that, right? So, and uh, that this means like a, you can trust Chris Hemsworth, right? So uh, for any 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 job and any characters he 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 plays, right? So uh, and uh, yeah, Thor or maybe for example the that one the Ghostbusters, right? So remember the only female people there. Uh, yeah, instead of the original Ghostbusters, they they put only women, right? So, so to be a Ghostbusters that, and he was the villain here, right? So he was the villain, and it's so funny, right? Yeah, a part of the movie he was villain, right? So, but here he he's a totally villain, okay? Uh, and uh, it's really interesting that so I love this guy, I love this guy, so uh, I I wanna I wanna meet. I want to meet him one day, right? So he's an Australian guy, right? So, and uh, there are so many, uh, so many vehicle uh, vehicles here. 
uh, if you see some vehicles here that behind, right? Uh, a lot of uh, uh, bikes, right? So, but that one, one specific vehicle is really interesting in this movie here that uh, the Mentos, the guy above there, uh, he tried and drive like, uh, remember the Thor, Love and Thunder? And so he has a, uh, he has a, 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 a wagon, right? So he has a wagon and uh, some, uh, I don't know, some animal, right? So just uh, uh, take, take him somewhere, right? It's the same here. It's, but instead of animal, he put uh, bikes here. <laughs> yeah, motorcycle, not bikes. Motorcycle, two motorcycles he puts here. And uh, the way how he, uh, how he, and the question is how he drive this. <laughs> so, uh, because uh, yeah, it's really interesting that. So, uh, that's a good question when you see, when you see this scene here, when you see this guy uh, uh, driving this uh, wagon with motorcycles, uh, you will have this question: How he, how can he drive this, right? So it's all like a a mix of the remember the movie Ben Hu, Ben Hu, right? So uh, he used the this wagon, right? Now, wagon, right? Wagon, wagon, uh, never mind, right? And uh, and uh, he used the motorcycles to drive right so it's really interesting that right so but action scenes is really great they keep these action scenes so strong so uh that that is george miller that is george miller totally that so uh and uh annotated george she's great here in this uh in these uh <coughs> sorry uh, in this movie here, so she's great playing this character, right? And probably some people will ask me, like, uh, Leo, do you prefer uh, Anya Taylor Joy or Charlize Theron? All right, so uh, playing as a uh, Furiosa, right? Uh, for me, I I would say. Uh, there is no comparison for me. I think he, each actress is different, right? So, uh, because uh, <coughs> uh, my voice is sometimes, uh, I have a problem with my voice sometimes. Uh, yeah, Charlize Theron is more like, uh, she is really old now, right? So maybe 45, 46, 47, I don't know how old she, how old she is, right? And, uh, but Anna Taylor Joy, she, I think they they were right to choose her because uh, she she's amazing. Uh, so uh, and uh, maybe you remember this An Anya Taylor Joy uh, in the movie Split, maybe mm -hmm. Split and, and Glass, right? So the uh, M Night Shyamalan, right? So uh, you maybe you can remember her in these movies here. And also the the series I, I told you about the Netflix, right? So uh, the Queen of Gambit, right? So, and uh, but there's no comp comparison of both uh, actresses. I like both actresses. So uh, uh, each one has a different style of acting, right? So, so I I don't see a difference for me. For me, it's all the same things, right? So uh, and the movie is really good that. Uh, just like I said uh, in the beginning, right? The original story is really interesting. That so uh, uh, the, it's good you talk about this group, uh, these this character, uh, the the background, right? And the uh, actual scene is perfect here. So, and uh, in the end of the movie here, uh, they show some scenes of it, uh, some scenes. Probably you have watched it, maybe not. Okay, so 
so they show some uh, some short short clips of this move here in the end of the movie okay so it's not like a post credit right it's not about that so it's just like a, they show some uh some uh highlights okay uh, highlights what's happening in this movie here right because some people do I need to watch this movie Leo, to understand the, the actually you don't need to watch this movie if you want it's good right so that you can uh, have more experience right so uh, about this movie here uh, but if you if you just if you just want to uh, uh, watch the Furiosa the the spin-off let's say like that uh, it's okay okay so just uh, just uh, watch the movie that but uh, in the end of the movie they have these uh, highlights what's happening in this movie here right but, but uh, maybe uh, you are interesting and maybe just a curious uh, about the movie okay so my rate for Furiosa I met Matt Saga sorry <laughs> I will give it 9.5 out of 10 okay so uh, 9.5 out of 10 just because uh, I think they it, exaggerate the original story right i think they there are some parts there that is not necessary okay so uh, but uh, the rest of the thing the rest of the the movie all perfect so uh, there's no discussion here okay so that's all watch this video guys here so if you like this video you know you need to know put a like here so it's really really important that Subscribe here. <laughs> I need more subscribers, so you know that. So every day I ask you for more subscribers here. And uh, comments here. Have you watched this movie? So uh, or maybe what, if you if you haven't watched it yet, so uh, what's your expectation for this movie, right? So uh, and uh, give your opinion. So I will respect any opinions you have. Okay. And share this video to with your friends that because um, it's really good for uh, I improving my videos. Okay, so and I see you in the next video. Okay, so see you. Take care.